If you've been on TikTok for a while, you must have heard about a ton of Africans telling you that Europeans stole Africa's resources. Now, there's a lot to say about that. First and foremost, most of these resources are still in Africa, and they're not being stolen by Europeans. They're actually being sold to Europeans by the African state leadership. Your own elites are robbing you. It's not us doing it. Not anymore. In this video, this white man shares with us his views on natural resources that has been taken away from Africa, Jamaica, and Caribbean at large. He mentioned that African leaders, Jamaican leaders, and leaders in the Caribbean are the ones betraying their own people, that is, the black people. He says leaders are the ones who are selling out their natural resources and their state assets to the white people or to the Europeans or to the West. So let's watch this video in order to listen to more of this from him. Then we'll come back here and talk more about it. But before that, if you haven't yet liked this video, kindly like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Let's watch the videos together. The real issue, of course, is why aren't Africans using their own resources to do things? Why does Mr. Beast have to go to Kenya to build water wells? Why didn't the Kenyan government do it themselves? I suppose the Kenyan government could have done it themselves. They just chose not to do it. Nigeria is now a country of almost 220 million people, the largest country in Africa. But they only produce about 10% of the electricity that a small country like Hungary Hungary only has 10 million people, but they produce 10 times as much electricity as Nigeria does. <clears throat> I mean, I know you want to have your Wakanda, right? But do you expect white people to give it to you? No, you're supposed to build it yourself. Having said all this, it is of course obvious that we Europeans in the North need to prepare for a possible, potential African rise in terms of technology and therefore also in terms of military capacity. And that means we in Europe need to already start looking ahead and thinking ahead about how we are going to win the war against Africa because there will be a future war between Europe and Africa. And some of you will tell me that what we are seeing on this app is not going anywhere. You can see that they are hearing everything we are saying. Everything the youth are saying we are hearing. If I show you the kind of DMs that I have, the kind of things people send in my DM, you'll be shocked that I'm still on this app talking. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, our leaders are the ones killing us. You have heard from him. He said, our resources are being sold to the West by our African leaders, which is true. The West is not entirely gone. The West are the ones manipulating our leaders because they are still here. Some of our leaders are like puppets, controlled by the West. Someone like Gaddafi, they saw the way, the kind of development he was doing to his people and they manipulated his people against him. If you see any African leader that the West doesn't like, that the West is kicking against, know that that African leader is doing something good in the life of his people. Look at the young man in Guinea. How many coups have been plotted against him since he overthrew the president? He has chased France out of his country. Now, people are even mobilizing against him, including the Nigeria's president. So guys, let me tell you all, African youth, this is the time. This is the only tool we have to stop this. This is the time for us to let them know that we know what they are up to. This our leaders are up to. For how long are we continue to fold? We are going to continue to fold our arms and watch our brothers drown in the Mediterranean Sea in search of greener pastures with our colonizers. For how long are we going to watch our sisters being brutalized in Saudi Arabia by the people they are working with them as mates? For how long are our graduates in Africa going to continue sleeping under the bridges with certificates in their hands with no jobs? For how long are the African youths ready to die because they don't have good health care system? African youths, you might have a hundred followers, you might have two hundred. Speak life into this nation. It's time for you to stand up. 
We cannot continue to suffer like this. We deserve better. Our motherland has blessed us. Our nation has blessed us with everything. Without Africa, the West is nothing. Everything about the West comes from Africa. They cannot even talk about history. They cannot even talk about their own history without mentioning Africa is impossible. So guys, this is the time. I won't overemphasize. I won't over label this point, but this is the time. I will continue talking. For those of you who always come for me and say, oh, leave our president. I will not leave any president. If you are doing anyhow, you collect anyhow. If you lie, you come to my DM or you send your people to my DM to threaten me. That is the least they can do. They will not shut this mouth up. The hunger for change in Africa is in me and you cannot even kill it. If you are an African youth and you are not tired of this suffering, then something is wrong with you. Something is really wrong with you. Listen to how this man is saying it. Was it difficult for the Kenyan government to provide his people with borehole waters? Why does it have to be Mr. Beast coming all the way to come and do it? Is it difficult for the Kenyan government to do it? No. But why do they choose to treat their own people like this? I'm sorry that Kenya collected a stray bullet here. Even Nigeria is used as an example. Nigeria cannot boast of electricity. A giant of Africa cannot boast of electricity. The person that did us this in Africa needs to buy so that we should be free. I've said my own. If you like, you sit quiet. Welcome back. So in this video, this white man explains to us that our leaders are the cause of our problems. They are the cause of problems that are happening in Africa, Jamaica, and in the Caribbean. Because these elite leaders are the ones selling us out. They are the ones who are selling out our natural resources to the Europeans. They are the ones who are selling our assets to the West. He made mention of an example where Mr. Beast built a hundred boreholes in the country of Kenya. Now, Kenya is a country in East Africa. Now, Mr. Beast flew all the way from United States to Kenya in order to build 100 boreholes for deprived communities and deprived schools. So you may ask yourself, what, what was the government of Kenya doing? Didn't he know that his people needed water? So in this situation, this white man's argument is really true in the sense that our leaders know our problems because I don't see why a government will sit down for someone from the United States to fly all the way from the United States, come to the country of Kenya in order to provide deprived communities with boreholes, just common boreholes and not even any modernized pipe or thing like that. The government can do it, but they choose not to do it. They are just puppets who are being controlled by the West. He also made mention of Nigeria producing only 10% of the electricity needs of the country. Now, Nigeria has a population of about 200 million people, and it's capacity to produce electricity is just only about 10% of the population. So it means about 90% of the population would definitely not be able to have access to stable electricity. And he just opposed that to that of the country of Hungary, which is just about 10 million people. And they are able to produce about 10 times of the electricity needs of the country. Why is this happening? Meanwhile, Nigeria is an oil producing country. So a country that produces oil and you are not able to turn your own oil in order to fuel electricity in your own country. Isn't this paradoxical? Our leaders are just giving out our resources to the West in order for it to benefit the West only. And we are just living just like that. Leaders from Africa, from Jamaica, from Caribbeans are really not helping their people according to what this man said. They are just puppets being controlled by the West. He also made mention, the lady made mention of 
the example of Muhammad Gaddafi, who was doing very well, who rose to help the country of Libya. And it looks like almost everything was going so well with the country. And these West manipulated people around him in order to betray him and kick him out of office. And finally, they executed or killed him. This same incident is happening in Burkina Faso, where the new president, Ibrahim Chauri, a young military junta who has taken over power and he's really transforming his country. Now, these same West have reported against him and have tried at least about four coup attempts in order to get his government out of office. This is really uncalled for. We need to own our own resources, use our own resources to our own benefit, help our people, get our people out of poverty. The era where African youth would have to cross the Mediterranean Sea in order to search for greener pastures should be a turn of the past. The era where our sisters would become maid servants in Saudi Arabia should be a thing of the past. This is the time where we need to rise up as youth of Africa, youth of Jamaica, youth of the Caribbean in order to stand for ourselves and make development our topmost priority. There are no jobs in our countries and always we need to leave our country to seek for greener pastures in other lands. This is unacceptable on the part of the people of Africa, on the part of the people of Jamaica, and on the part of the people of Caribbeans as a whole. Let me know what you think about all these in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and your family. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just look at the subscribe button down here. Click on the subscribe button. Click as well on the notification bell. And I'd like to see you again in my next video.